Hello and welcome to another one of our Zoost videos. Now today's one is going to be looking at the horse going up and down hill. Now this is a particular patient of mine that we've had a lot of difficulty building up the core and maintaining it. Um, we build it up really easily and he's in incredibly accident prone so he has a habit of as soon as we've got him really going well and into work he does something silly and it all starts to unravel and this can be really frustrating because this is quite a common thing that people will find and it's in this day and age keeping a horse that you want to do low level competition work with um, in a really good condition is sometimes very difficult with our normal day-to-day -day lives. However, with this particular one, we've been working with him and we had a question with one of our earlier videos, which was, uh, could we see both slow motion and going up and down hill? So that's exactly what we've done with him. He is a work in progress um, and what I've done is I've done footage in normal speed and then we've slowed it down and I'm talking through the different things we're looking at and where he's not quite using his body correctly. Um, so sit back, have a cup of tea or something whilst you watch it and I'll take you through every aspect and then I'll meet you at the other end. Okay, see you in a minute. First of all, we'll watch the horse from in front walking up the hill. Um, the camera makes this look fairly flat, um, but we're looking at about a one in um, seven gradient at the moment. And uh, you can see the horse lifting its head in order to swing the front limbs underneath. But if you look closely, you'll see the horse is veering off slightly to the left and that the girl is struggling to keep in a straight line. Now if we watch this in slow motion, you'll see that his head and neck are always over to the left. You'll notice that he shakes his head a bit, but look at all that tail action behind. And we will watch him from behind as well um, as he goes downhill. Um, and you can see those hocks um, rotating, especially the, uh, well, both of them actually, I was going to say especially the left, but it's the way the light is hitting it. Um, but the actual contact with the ground fairly, by the time that the limb has finished moving, the contact with the ground is fairly good in front. Uh, behind there is what we call a horizontal arc of movement as opposed to lifting his bum and swinging the leg underneath there is a little bit of sideways movement which is meaning that the limb swings round to the side as well and this puts um, a lot more stress through the hock and the stifle and the hip structures to be honest and you'll see changes in the muscling with these types of horses now this is a horse that it's taken a long time to get him into work and keep him into work. He'd been heavily hunted and this was part of the problem. Now if we watch him going downhill you'll see he's very very asymmetric behind. He wants to bend his body round to the left, he drops his right hip more and he holds his tail, the root of the tail, over to the right but also with a left rotation. So if you look, if you were to look along his spine it's, it's tilting round to the left. Now we'll watch this again in slow motion and you can see the rotation through those hind limbs and although he shows a clean pair of feet both front and back there's a lot of rotation going on in those limbs and not a huge amount of um, axial rotation through his spine so he should be rotating along his spine in order to lift the leg. Now he lifts the left more than the right um, but you've got that that lateral flexion that side bending through his body and the root of the tail always over to the left with a left rotation so he's already rotating his body left so it's easier for him to swing that left hind through but it also comes through more and lands into the midline so he's walking on what we could, would call three tracks um, but he's incredibly base narrow behind. This tells me his core strength 
is not up to scratch. He's a large horse and he should be able to move properly. Now if we watch from the side, you can see that head nod as he swings the front legs forward. Um, but you also see how much he's using those shoulders to pull as, as well as push from behind. Um, he's more interested in the camera at this point. Um, you can also see how the tail is, but he's not really pushing hard behind. Now we'll watch this in slow motion. And although he swings the legs quite far underneath him, he's not really then pushing hard all the way through. And if you look at his muscling over his bum, you, you can see why. Um, Conversely, look in front, you can see the size and the use of those shoulder muscles um, where he's using those and he's tipping his head forward um, to use it as a counterbalance to take pressure off his, his lumbar spine, what we would call the low back in ourselves. Um, and quite lazy and quite interested in the camera. And then we watch him move on the tail swishing going on all the time this indicates a horse that's not moving comfortably and not moving in a strong fashion we watch him going down the hill now and he's using the front end much more to brace himself and slow down but he's not tucking under so much behind so he's not tucking his bum under him as much as i would like to see and again this shows, and that delicate action in front where he's almost sliding, um, shows you he's not, he's not able to lift his core up. Now we'll watch this in slow motion, and it should become more apparent. He doesn't really bring those hind legs underneath him terribly far. And with the fronts, he puts the feet down, then he slides very slightly, especially with that left four. Um, he's, he should be able to bring his back up and uh, what we call dorsiflex um, the back much more um, and he's not but look how he's having to use those shoulders rather than sitting back down as he as he comes down the hill um, and this is this is all part of this horse's rehab is teaching him how to do this because he is incredibly accident prone at the moment and just watch as he goes by. You can see those hind limbs. You can see the rotation going on through those hind limbs as well, even from the side. Um, it's not pretty. It's not a good action for a big horse like um, like he is, you know, big Irish draft. Um, we should see it much stronger. Now, if we watch him in trot, again, that is not a powerful action. Look at that tail. Look at the head. Very, very twitchy so we'll slow that down because that was way too fast to talk through he's bouncing with his shoulders and he's not really getting in there from behind not not yet you know he comes right down on his um fetlocks and look at look at the rotation you can see more of the left side of his bum now watch him trotting down the hill Yeah, he's really not happy going downhill. So if we watch all this in slow motion, look at look at it. He's he's reluctant to transition into the trot. Very and then when he does, it's a very very short stride and very guarded. And look at that tail. He does lift his belly a little, but he doesn't sustain it. And see how he wants to stop all the time and go into the walk. Now, if we watch this from in front as he comes up the hill, you'll see lots and lots of agitation. Very difficult for the girl to keep him in a straight line. He wants to weave around because that is an easier action for him than going straight uphill. So front and back end doing two completely different things. Let's watch it again in slow motion. And look at the head, look at the head tilt there. Every time he swings that right fore forward, he dips that head to the right. His tail is always coming over to the side. His belly is swinging excessively from side to side. 
look at the rotation in those hocks. But the back end is deviating around the front all the time. Very difficult for her to keep him in a straight line. And he is, that is quite a laboured action. You know, a big horse like him, he should be able to tow her up the hill and uh, not the other way round. But yes, not not a straight line. <laughs> if he was a dog, he'd be a Springer Spaniel. Brilliant. Now we watch him go downhill. Look at that action. Look how he's bending from side to side. Look how the base narrow with those feet. You know, he's literally on a three track there. Um, sort of like a tripod. Fractionally wider in front than behind, but that's not a wide gate. That tells me he can't have a leg in each corner, which tells me he hasn't got a strong core. We watch it in slow motion, you can see it much more. All the head shaking, the tail swishing, the rotation through those limbs. So you've got much more of a horizontal swing of the leg, so that the foot swings round to the side, connects with the ground, and then has to even up. Those are all uneven pressures through every single joint in those, in those legs both front and back and you can see lots of elbow movement in front um, although the shoulders do move um, and we see them a lot worse than this you can just see the way the feet um, fly slightly at random angles so hopefully that's given you some food for thought um, please do comment um, below um, please subscribe to us and please click the, the little bell which will give you notifications of future videos that we're putting up. Um, what I'm trying to do is get you to look at your animals differently um, and get to see when they're moving correctly and when they're not moving correctly. Um, with horses um, it's so much easier to see when they're not moving correctly because that is the majority of them. Um, but it's looking at the horse and seeing is it able to cope with what you're asking of it. Um, so we're going to have further ones of these coming up as and when we get the chance. Um, sometimes with clinic we can't film these, um, other times we can. So I'm trying to produce material but I want to produce material that you want. So please, please add your comments, add your requests on the YouTube. Um, section. Um, on the rest of social media other people don't get to see um, the questions you're asking and those are really usually the most thought-provoking um, ones. So um, please thank you so much for your support so far. We will have more of these in the pipeline. Until we see you again please stay safe and please stay healthy. Take care.